So guys, today we're taking a look at some OnePlus 8 Pro cases. They say I look like a panda, but me I think I look way more like a bear. Fuck a fork in the road, put the fork in your ear, cause I'm morbidly tortured, I torture career. The cases we're taking a look at are by Poetic. So the lovely people at Poetic have sent me some of their OnePlus 8 Pro cases to test out and review. And uh, if you guys are watching this, thank you so much for helping support the channel. And you viewers at home, if you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell to be notified when new content comes out. Like the video and leave a comment. Um, leave a comment to what phone you're using. Anyway, so the three phone cases we have, we have the Poetic Affinity OnePlus 8 Pro. We've got the Poetic Guardian. And we've got the Poetic Revolution. Let's open up the smallest box first. And I've got my trusty OnePlus 8 Pro here. Now, the only thing is, you probably see my other videos, I had the Cyan case on it, which I loved. The only issue with the Cyan case is, for some reason, the wireless charging with the OnePlus 30 wireless charger, when I put on the, the Cyan case, it would limit, it would just go to 10 watts. So as soon as I put this case back on, it went back to charging at full speed, which I'm loving at the minute. And I did research online, and a lot of people have any issues with the sandstone cases so if you are planning to use the wireless charger don't get the sandstone case get a poetic case so let's take this trusty silicon case off you've done me well friend and let's open up this poetic affinity first now i've got a feeling yes i've had this case before for a different device and it's absolutely beautiful so there was a bit of a jump there. I'm not sure if you noticed, the battery was running low, so I had to just swap it over. So let's give the OnePlus A Pro a bit of a clean. Now I've been using this phone for over a month now, I think, and um, I'm going to drop a one month later review on it. I'm absolutely loving it. Can't say enough good things about it, and there's hardly any bad things about it. So look out for that on the channel. And like I said, if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as the video comes out. So let's pop this in. Yeah, that's such a nice case. Would have been nicer if I had a different color of OnePlus. If they had the blue one or the green one. But I'm actually liking this case a lot. You get uh, quite big raised edges, as you can see. Get that raisivity. So if you do drop it on a flat surface, you will be protected. And obviously because of the curved display, you can't get that resivity as much on the edges, on the sides. And then the back, super protective with this lovely clear see-through uh, pattern, honey shell, honeycomb, not honey shell, uh, honeycomb pattern, which looks amazing. You've got camera cutout protection there. As you can see, it goes in quite deep, the camera cutout, so you'll definitely be protected on that. Buttons are super responsive. And you've got the alert slider here, which works lovely. So this is this is probably the kind of case that I would rock. Um, I'm not a fan of two bulky cases, and this seems like the perfect combination of something that's going to protect my phone and something that looks nice as well. So, so far, this is my favorite. And I actually like this more than the OnePlus Cyan case, so... Let's move on to the next case. Let's try the Poetic Guardian. So this is one of the big ones. So also clear back, which I love. Um, very protective. Very protective edges, as you can see. Separating front casing from rear casing. Nice. I guess this is a two part case. So you've got the front section and the rear section. I'm wondering how we... So did you get an actual screen protector on this one? Oh, here we go. So it actually tells you separating from casing from rear casing, just pull down on the corner. Do had it there all along. And then if we separate it all the way down. And there we go. Pop the OnePlus in there, and then assume this just goes on top, and clips into place. 
clip clip. Oh. And then we're clipping it there. I think that's all. There's some plastic inside as well that I forgot to um remove. But as you can see it's clear on the back. You also got that raised camera protection. You've got a lot more protection on the edges, so and then you've got a screen protector on the front. So uh We'll leave that on there. You've got a camera car up top for the screen protector. So this would be great for someone that has a, a job like a builder or someone that needs to protect their phone, like majorly protect it, because it's going to provide you with a lot, a lot of protection. You also got a cutout down here for the charging port to protect it against dust, possibly a liquid as well. Unlike the other one, slim one, you don't have any protection down there. Yeah, so that one is going to be very protective. Buttons also very responsive, and you've got a cutout for the alert slider again. So, Poetic, this one was the Poetic Guardian One Plus. Love this one as well. Especially if I'm going somewhere where I definitely need to protect my phone, I will be slapping this one on without a doubt. But for general day to day, I'm probably going to use the Poetic Affinity. So, let's now try and remove it. Yeah, so it's just it's just this corner up here to separate the back from the front. So don't do what I did. Take the plastic from plastic film from the front from the front and the inside off before you attempt to put the case on the phone. Do as I tell you, not as I do, because you're gonna do it wrong if you do it like I did. Right. Next one. So far I'm loving these cases by the way. And you get an extra, just like this one with the screen protector on. If you don't want to use the screen protector, let's say you want to use your own screen protector from a different brand, they provide you with another housing for the front, which is uh, which has no screen protector on it, so you can apply your own one, which is very thoughtful of them. And then we've got Poetic Revolution. Let's take a look at this one. So again, you've got the front. No screen protector on. I'm guessing that's an extra one, so if you want to use your own screen protector, etc. And then, yes, so this one is similar to the Guardian, but this one is even more protective. So if you need even more protection than the Guardian, you're definitely going to want this one. This one, I'm not going to put this one on because it's going to be the same as the, um, the Guardian. And this one is called the Poetic Revolution. Differences about this one is you get so much more protection on the edges, as you can see. It's a lot more bulkier in the hands. Buttons will still feel like they will be responsive. And you've got the cutout for the alert slider. You've got the opening for the charging port to stop against dust and possibly liquid. And this one has a, this one actually has a, a kickstand. So you can put your phone in like that, or like that. Comes in handy that you've got it in the actual case. Because I'm, the amount of times I've tried to look for something to lean the phone on, and this would have been so helpful, you just pop it out and you start watching. So very good case as well. So far, all these cases have been brilliant. If you're interested in any of these cases, I'll pop a link in the description box below. Go and check them out. And again, thank you to Poetic for sending these out. Guys, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.